Hey readers, Miss Greer again. Today I want to teach you that when you read stories, you're not just tagging along behind the character. You're also looking ahead and imagining what's next. You think about what's already happened to predict what might happen next. Let's add that strategy to our chart. I think it would be great to try this out with Chester's Way. Wilson and Chester, Chester and Wilson, they do everything together. I bet you it's always gonna be like that. But I do remember when I made my sneak peek that Lily appears. She's gonna stir up some trouble. Let's see what happens. That's the way it was. They love to go on picnics. Once, when Wilson accidentally swallowed a watermelon seed and cried because he was afraid that a watermelon plant would grow inside him, Chester swallowed one too. Don't worry, said Chester. Now, if you grow a watermelon plant, I'll grow one too. Chester duplicated his Christmas list every year to give a copy to Wilson because they always wanted the same thing anyway. For Halloween, they always dressed as things that went together. Salt and pepper shakers, two mittens on a string, ham and eggs. They really are two peas in a pod, said Chester's mother. Looks like it, said Chester's father. In spring, Chester and Wilson shared the same umbrella. In winter, they never threw snowballs at each other. That's not fun. <laughs> in fall, they raked leaves together. And in summer, they reminded each other to wear sunscreen so they wouldn't burn. They're so kind to each other. Chester and Wilson, Wilson and Chester, that's the way it was. And then Lily moved into the neighborhood. Lily had her own way of doing things. I'm Lily, I am the queen, I like everything. Whoa, so predict what might happen next. I'm thinking that maybe Wilson and Chester will become really good friends with her. Maybe they'll give her a chance. She looks like she's a lot of fun. Or maybe because they're used to things being a certain way, they will think that she's different and they won't want to be friends. Hmm, now it's time for you to try it out in your own books. So take the book that you brought with you and start reading. You might have to go back a few pages to reread before you read on. So readers, all year long, you've learned to use your tools to solve the words. But readers don't only use letters and sounds and snap words and patterns to read. Readers also use the story itself to help them read what comes next. The story gets you thinking, it gets you worrying, it gets you hoping. And all that gets wound up together in the fact that as you read, the story itself gets you predicting. All right, off you go.